Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy 13 2 video. Alright, so we're just starting out here. I think I had just beat the, um, uh, one of the, immo uh, an immortal, the immortal, I don't know, anyways. Um, so I got the, uh, or Sarah's version of the Romulus and Remus, which is the Indra, Indra hit, something like that, Indra hit, I don't know if I'm saying that right, probably not, uh, but anyways, again, that's the ATB plus 50%. Uh, weapon. So, uh, cool stuff. All right, anyways, uh, let's zap on over here. Looks like we're in serendipity. Not 100% sure why, but we'll figure that out. Um, so, as of this point, I, I don't think I've actually got the, the fragment uh, that you can get by gambling. Um, from the, actually from, I should say, it's from winning uh, 7,777 coins from the um, slot machine. It is clear as day. You were the ones chosen by the goddess. Okay. There's the paradoxical. Okay, so I didn't actually grab that uh, when we were here earlier. So, uh, uh, looks like, so that's actually, um, it's unlocked once you've beaten the, the actual storyline. And uh, we're actually going to need that in order to uh, get some of the other fragments in the game. So, um, let's see, I'm not sure where we're going to start first. Um, might not actually use that for a bit, yeah. Um, again, so there's actually some fragments that are now available um, even without the Paradox Scope. Uh, activated that we are now able to get because we've beat the game. So um, I'm gonna head here to New Bodom and grab some of those. And um, I know I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some dialogue here. So I will try to not speak over that once we get there. This bridge is wicked. I think this is a bridge, right? Kind of looks like one. Okay, I guess we need to stand around for a while. Ah, uh, oh, that's right. Okay, so, um, unfortunately, um, there was a, uh, a fragment that I had missed uh, quite a while earlier that we're actually going to need to do a time reversal on the, uh, I think it's the Academia uh, 4XX, and um, we'll have to kind of replay some of those events. Here's one of the new... Fragments, which is Noel's message. But from who? Hey there, Noel. This might be hard to believe, but this is you from the future. I'm just a little bit further along the timeline. This is a warning to my past self. There's a serious trial ahead of you. I know we're pretty tough, but this almost broke me. Just don't give up and don't give in. I know it's weird coming from yourself, but trust me, I know you can do it. It's a message from my future self. It's not really like me to look backwards like that. You know, Sarah, this might be some sort of trick. What, you think a future Knoll is trying to trick us? You're thinking too much. It's probably safe to take your own words at face value. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how you could uh, get a trick out of that. He's literally just warning you about a trial coming that almost broke him. So, boy, if that's a trick, I, I don't know. Anyways, here's our next fragment. Huh. Looks like a message of some sort. Where am I? I don't really know. I can't hear anything. I can't feel anything. It's cold. It's dark, and I'm alone. This place seems completely empty, but I have no regrets. I fought right until the end. I fought, and I didn't run. I know that someone, somewhere, will carry on what we've started. They have to. Was that my voice we heard? 
What's this about a cold, dark place? You don't know what it means either, huh? Could it be a prophecy? I said I had no regrets. Doesn't sound like a bad thing, at least. Okay, so I'm taking Sarah and Snow's... Or Sarah and Snow... Sarah and Noel's messages here as a bit of foreshadowing. Oof. All right, anyways. Boy, moving on. All right, we... So... Um, we actually need to go back to Academia for XXAF here, and we need to rewind the uh, gate. Now, um, the reason why I had to do this was because I answered uh, Lightning incorrectly uh, the first time I was in you know, Sarah's sort of dream world, or like the dream version of uh, New Bodum. So, uh, again, now unfortunately that means that we have to, which, it, to be fair, it's not a total loss. We need, it, or we need to uh, rewind the Academia 4XX uh, gate seal anyway, in order to get some of the other Paradox endings. Okay, so this is just the scene, and I'm not really sure why I let this play. It's just the original scene of entering Academia 4XX. There we go. So let's just fast forward through that. Um, so really what we need to do here is to just make kind of a beeline right for the uh, command center and uh, speak with um, what's-her-face and what's-his-face. <laughs> Hope and Alyssa. So let's head that way. I sort of have an idea of what happened, but I can't really explain it. It was more of a hunch, really. Um, so, uh, again, you know, I guess I was a little disappointed uh, super early on there. I mean, this is quite a few videos ago uh, where I, you know, just didn't answer kind of uh, lightning correctly there. Because basically she's, again, Sarah's in her kind of like dream version of New Bodum and all the Nora members are there. Snow is there. Lightning's there. And uh, basically at the end of the sequence, you know, Lightning is on the pier, or the, the dock, or whatever you want to call it. And um, she asks Sarah if she wants to stay, you know, or something like that. And, you know, I, I, of course, the answer is no, because, you know, you know it's not a fake, or you know it's not a real uh, area, or, you know, it's a dream or something. And um, unfortunately, uh, it, there actually is a fragment for telling her yes. So, you know, I, I just remember, oh, yeah, well, no, this is not real, you know, so let's just tell her no right away. Well, then, of course, you know, later on I come to find out, yeah, it's, you need to answer yes at least once. <laughs> so, anyways, all right, so let's head back in here and speak with uh, Hope and Alyssa. Now, the great thing about this stuff is you've got all the, or we've got all the items already, so we're just going to rock it through all this stuff. Okay, so um, basically I've just been skipping through all this dialogue now. There is this spot here where Alyssa's asking for the Graviton cores again. And um, there actually, uh, I want to point out, there actually is one Paradox uh, ending here where I... Uh, and actually, I mean, we'll, we'll do that. I'll have, you know, the whole uh, walkthrough for that um, coming up. Um, but uh, basically one of the Paradox endings is actually to tell... Uh, Alyssa no when she tries to hand you this Vagabond artifact. Now you gotta be careful though, because uh, if you notice right there I didn't have an option to uh, to tell her no, and that's because I skipped through that dialogue, so um, you know, once we actually go through here again I'll have to actually answer her and, you know, just refuse it basically, so um, anyways, alright, so we need to uh, continue on again, this is this is basically uh, just, you know, a replay of these these events altogether. That guy right there is the uh, the dude that's got the fragment for the 
Uh, basically for, uh, I think, I don't know if it's, yeah, I think it's defeating one of every monster. Um, so that's a, that's a fragment that we'll eventually get. Actually, it, I don't remember if that was the very last fragment I got, but I think there's a chance that it was. Um, you know, it's, it's literally one of the, it's one of the, if not the, toughest fragment to get in the entire game. Um, the, uh, the one for gambling and serendipity, or the one, you know, the one for winning, I should say, it's winning 7,777 coins from the slot machines. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that that one's difficult, it's just time consuming. Whereas, uh, fighting one of every single monster and tracking down every single monster, I feel like it's a bit more difficult. So. Alright, anyways. Let's hop into this gate, and this will start off the... Uh, weird dream sequence. Getting close to some kind of final reckoning. Let's go. All right. So as we answered the first time, uh, we'll just say I am ready. That. So, let's skip this. Um, all right, so here we are in the void beyond. So this will be the. Um, Sarah will be alone. And we'll have to speak with the different versions of Yule here in the Void Beyond. And then fight Caius. Now, you have to be kind of careful here, too, if you've got the Paradox Scope. Um, you don't want to have the Paradox Scope enabled for when you fight Caius. Um, that is, if you don't want the Paradox ending, which we don't want to do. We actually want to get past that first. Yeah, let's just skip this. Again, this this is all scenes that we've already seen, so I'm not going to uh, really focus on them at all, which is obviously why I'm skipping them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so again, now we just need to uh, get through this area, get to the uh, the Yules, and then fight Caius, and then that should get us back to New Bodum 700. Or sorry, not New Bodum 700. The uh, I guess I don't even know. It it's really considered. Again, I always call it like the dream version of New Bodum because it's not really New Bodum 700. You know? So, alright, let's speak with Yule here, and hopefully I'll just skip this right away, which I suspect I will, of course. There we are. Um, and so, it's, it's also a bit unfortunate that I didn't uh, take care of this again the first time. Now, um, again, you know, I, I did mention earlier that, you know, we were, we were going to need to come through here to do these paradox endings anyway, but um, it just feels super redundant having to do it. I think I, I think I ended up going through this area, a total, I, I guess it's probably a total of four times. Uh, and again, because I missed that fragment, we'll, we'll do the final count a little bit later, but um, uh, I think, you know, again, I think it was a fourth... Or I think it took a total of four times, because you had the, the original. Now this will be the second. And then there's one Paradox ending by, you know, the, you have to have the Paradox scope activated, basically at this point, um, before we fight Caius, because if you... Oh, man, it, yeah, it is at least four. It might... Yeah, for sure. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, so we're actually going to unfortunately have to do this quite a few times, so apologize for that. Again, and mostly it's because I just kind of messed up that first time through. Had I had I just taken that fragment, we wouldn't uh, have to do that, you know, for this specific time. And uh, I could have just, at this point, um, you know, activated that Paradox Scope and, uh, and fought Caius. I think, yeah, I think it's right here that you basically need need to have it activated. Um, it's before you speak with this Yule, because this triggers the Caius fight, so 
And um, again, you have to have that paradox scope activated for the Caius fight if you want the paradox ending. So again, keep that in mind. He's a little tougher uh, when you've got the paradox scope activated, as it's maybe it's obvious already that he would be. But um, yeah, uh, up to up to you on how you want to handle it. I just uh, we'll see, we'll see we'll see actually once I get there. I don't want to really talk too much about a battle that we're actually not um, doing. I mean, technically it's the same one as this one, but this is just a, you know, that was a joke. So, a good old Heart of Chaos just reviving Caius there. Alright. So again, this is all, you know, the same events that took place uh, earlier. Nothing, nothing new here. Nothing new to see. Move along. I think this takes us to the dream version. I think that's the next stop anyway. <clears throat> Oof. That loading time, eh, comrades? Huh? Okay, here we are. Finally. Dream version new bottom. Um, you can speak with the uh, the folks here if you if you missed that the first time. Basically you just talk to one or talk to every Nora member. I am pretty sure these are all uh, you know, trigger trigger events or live triggers, sorry. No not live triggers, that's not even right. Um, anyways. I'm just the worst. I always <laughs> I've forgotten almost every like what what are the even the terms are for when you you know activate those um, dialogues here. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip them. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just. I guess I just didn't care. I I don't know if there was multiple rewards for this set of questions, but uh, to be honest here, just blowing through all these dialogues. You know, again, if there's more than one option, this was dumb, and I should have just, you know, answered these questions. Uh, granted, you know, the first time through all of these areas, I made sure to get the, um, like, the funny answers taken care of, so, uh, you know, like, so then on, on second or subsequent times through an area, I could have just, uh, you know, gone with whatever answer I wanted, but, um... Yeah, looks like I'm, again, specifically for this area, I actually don't even know if there's a secondary reward or not, um, because a lot of times there are, but sometimes there aren't, so. All right, so that is the snow conversation that I'm just skipping. Uh, now, this next one is where we need to slow it down here, because we're actually going to need to speak with lightning and... Again, we're going to have to choose to kind of, I think it's like an option to stay here. So we'll have to, uh, you know, answer yes this time instead of no, which again is what I kind of messed up on last time. Is it really you? Welcome home, Sarah. Lightning, why are you here? Because you want me to be. In this place, you can see all your heart's desires come true. You've changed history, and you're back where you belong. This is it. Your adventure's over. still glinted like a razor. This wasn't real. It was a dream. If I accepted it, my journey through time would end. But my 
sister was here. Snow was here. If I stayed, I would be with everyone I'd ever loved. This is what I've been searching for. All this time. I'd found my home. I'd found happiness. All right, so there's your live trigger, and we are gonna pick yes. Sarah, let's go. Yeah. My sister fills me with joy. I'm home. In some ways, it's almost like that happiness has taken over, forcing out the feelings that were there before. At first, I was overwhelmed with loss, but soon even that feeling faded away with the rest. Now, every day is paradise. Lightning is here with me, and snow as well. Lebro and Huge, Godot and Mackie, the whole gang. Sometimes Saz and his son come to visit. And guess what? Hope had some great news for us. He said he was pretty sure they might be able to save Fang and Vanille from the pillar. I'm content. I like my life the way it is. There's only one thing that keeps it from being perfect. I can't remember a certain person. I know he was a friend. And I'm sure we were close. But no matter how I try, I can't recall his face or his name or even how his voice sounded. It's so strange. Who could he be? In my room, I have a mirror. I never use it. It scares me. On the other side of that mirror, there's a whole other world. And if I peek inside, I'll be lost. Or so it seems to me. When I told Snow how I felt, of course he said I was just being silly. Maybe I am. I can live with that. All I want is for these wonderful, magical days to continue. For this time to stretch on forever. This is where I'll stay. I'm home. And I never want to leave. Okay, so that's the Fate and Freedom uh, fragment, as well as <laughs> some CP. Oh, that's cute. Um, but yeah, anyways, all right, so, okay, that's, apparently that's called the Hollow Seclusion. Yeah, okay. Or New Bodum 00XAF, I guess, I don't know. But uh, anyways... We need to continue on here. Actually, I, I think we actually need to go through this now. I don't think you can just kind of go back to the Historia Crux after, you know, that that choice there. It, just, it, it doesn't look like it, you know, takes us or gives us really that option to do that. So, kind of, kind of interesting. Now, um, to be completely honest, though, I think what I could have done here, and now this just gives you the choice again, so... Uh, which is kind of interesting. And again, you know, this is just what I should have done the first time, and I, we would have already had this stuff taken t care of. But uh, again, made that made that mistake a little bit earlier there. Um, <clears throat> one of the things, though, uh, that we should do, and I'll have to I'll have to check my footage here. But um, is it really you? Yeah. Okay. So this is just the same dialogue options, basically, as earlier. Um, but anyway, so like I was saying, what we'll have to do is to just keep playing through this, and then actually we'll, uh, I think, I think we can activate the Paradox Scope in the next area, 
when we're cruising around as Knoll. And um, by doing that, that should unlock another one of the Paradox endings. So I'm going to make sure that I've got that all right. Um, <laughs> hopefully I'm not talking out of my, uh, my rear end right here and I'm remembering things correctly. But uh, again, I suspect that uh, we'll actually be able to continue on from here and get one of those... Uh, um, paradox endings that I that I think we need to do. So again, we'll see. Um, hopefully that's the case. That would be extremely convenient um, walkthrough wise. So again, we'll we'll see here. But uh, anyways, uh, as always, hope the guy was helpful and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.